Greetings. Welcome to Oil for the Journey. My name's Trisha and I'm your Oil for the Journey reader today. And today we're reading from Revelations 10 to 12. Um, our scheduled reading follows the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth reading plan. And let's get started. This is an in- interesting chapter. Father, I just thank you for your hand to be upon us as we hear your word. Lord, I just pray that you would touch each and every person and bring insight for what you are saying to us today from these scriptures. Chapter 10. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven. He was robed in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun and his legs were like fiery pillars. He was holding a little scroll, which lay open in his hand. He planted his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and he gave a loud shout like the roar of a lion. When he shouted, the voices of the seven thunders spoke, and when the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven say, Seal up what the seven thunders have said, and do not write it down. And the angel I had seen standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven, and he swore by him who lives for ever and ever, who created the heavens and all of this that is in them, the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it, and said, There will be no more delay, but in the days when the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished just as he announced to his servants the prophets. Then the voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me once more. Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and I asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, take it and eat it. I will turn your stomach sour but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then I was told, you must prophesy against again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. I was given a reed like a measuring rod and was told, Go and measure the temple of God and the altar with its worshippers. But exclude the outer court. Do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will trample on the holy city for 42 months and I will appoint my two witnesses and they will prophesy for 1,260 days clothed in sackcloth. They are the two olive trees and the two lampstands and they stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devours their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying, and they have power to turn the water into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. Now, when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss and will attack them and overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from every people, tribe, language and nation will gaze on their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts because these two prophets had tormented those who live on the earth. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet and terror struck those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. At that very hour, there was a severe earthquake and a tenth of the city collapsed. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake and the survivors were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. The third woe is coming soon. 
The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has come, become the kingdom of our Lord and his Messiah, and he will reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened and within his temple was seen the Ark of the Covenant. And there came flashes of lightning rumbling, pearls of thunder, an earthquake and a severe hailstorm. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon and under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its head. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour her child the moment he was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter, and her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient, ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now how now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had been given birth to the male child. The woman was given the two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of for a time, times and a half a time, out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowed the river that the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commands and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for your word. And Father, I just pray you would just touch and give understanding to those that are listening Speak into their lives, Lord God. Let them hear what you're saying for them from this word. Father, I thank you and praise you. Praise you, Lord God, for you are worthy of our praise. Thanks for listening to me today on Oil for the Journey. You can also like us on, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter comment anywhere in any of those we just thank you and ask that just thank you for your blessing of watching and listening with us and we will see you next time with oil for the journey